Hey everyone, this is Shane Smythe with Salesforce Mojo. Today we're going to be talking about smart promotions. Uh, sorry for the delay in this video. I know it's been about a month since I recorded something. It's been a little bit busy and kind of getting into the holidays. Um, so it's been a bit since I've uh, had the chance to actually record and, and set up. Uh, but I think we have some really cool uh, content today to share uh, about smart promotions. Uh, and you know, we've talked about promotions in the past. And there's a lot of value to uh, customers using promotions because it provides a nice incentive for uh, them to grow their uh, customers and actually, um, you know, incentivize people to go and order. So ton of interest in promotions. This makes it faster and better. And I was able to work uh, with some awesome folks over at Salesforce on uh, getting in some early access into this beta uh, and was able to get my hands into it. So today what we're going to do is we're going to go through kind of what promotions are, again, just as a quick reminder dive into um, what smart promotions is and kind of the objectives, get into some use cases we plan on prompting to smart promotions, and then actually get into uh, the uh, instance and just see what this looks like. So uh, stay tuned, we're gonna jump right into it. So before we go too far into depth on the smart promotions functionality, I just wanna do a quick overview of promotions. If you're not familiar with promotions, I'll put a link up to my previous video uh, up top here. Uh, let's just do a quick uh, overview of the attributes of promotions because I think it, it bodes to why we would need a feature like this. Uh, so there are a lot of different attributes of promotions. We've got segments to deal with. We've got tiers potentially. We have discounts and we also have qualifiers. Uh, so there's quite a bit to go into promotions in order for you to be successful and, and have the right promotion. Uh, and the data model is pretty complex, so you need to understand, okay, when I create a promotion, I need to create promotion qualifiers, and then I need to create segments and discounts, and am I going to use a coupon or not? So you need to know quite a bit about promotions in order for you to, to really be a promotions expert. So that's really the, the problem statement here is that promotions are detailed and, and rightfully so, right? There's a lot of different types of promotions across segments and buyers. And so it, it needs to be this complicated in order to serve the audiences that Salesforce has, but they think they can provide a better uh, way to interact with promotions. So that's really where we get into the overview of what smart promotions is. And, you know, this is still in beta, so I'll call that out right now. It's planning on going GA here, I believe in the next release, um, you know, forward looking state when I'm not Salesforce, but uh, based on what I know today, uh, it is pretty close to GA. I've had my hands on this, as I mentioned uh, in the overview here, uh, and actually been able to, to use it in my org and in Salesforce Mojo. And it, uh, it has a lot of value, uh, I believe, and a lot of promise. Uh, really where I see there being a lot of value is reduction in time to actually set up a promotion. And maybe there even is a sub bullet to the reduction time. It's accuracy of setup as well. And as I mentioned, promotions are pretty complicated. Uh, so actually being able to set this up quicker instead of spending, you know, dozens of minutes or hours, uh, you're spending uh, single minutes uh, and we'll, we'll walk through a couple of examples here in a moment. But then the accuracy, it's pretty common for business users to do all the promotion setup and then either go and hopefully test it, sometimes not test it, and uh, find out that uh, it was wrong. It's showing the wrong thing. It's not applying the cart the right way. So being able to have that accuracy is is really, really key. And then there's also this feature of using examples. And I think that's a, a pretty a cool opportunity that, uh, I, from my understanding, is going to be extended in the future. Right now, they're kind of static uh, examples, which I'll, I'll pull up when we get into the demo. Uh, but in the future, these are potentially going to be uh, dynamic and contextual to the store and what's been sold and a, a bunch of other opportunities that I really think could drive uh, some incremental value. So before we get into the actual demo of this, there are a couple of prompts that I want to try here together, and I've tried some of these ahead of time and some of them, you know, the, the bottom one, for instance, I'm going to be doing net new, um, but these will give you a good sampling of like, these are two very, or three, sorry, very different prompts. And what is smart promotions going to give us, right? What is Einstein going to, to provide back to us? Is it going to be accurate? Is it going to tie to the right categories and products? Uh, so we're going to find out. Uh, so with that being said, let's jump right into the org and, and see what this actually looks like. So we're in Salesforce Mojo right now. Um, one of the first things I'll, I'll note is that the setup of this was actually nothing. Uh, when I 
uh, got into the pilot program or the beta program with Salesforce and was working with them. They went in and turned on the feature and it immediately showed up here in the top right hand corner draft with Einstein. And I didn't need to do anything else besides, you know, have the feature turned on, which uh, is a breath of fresh air when it comes to setting up a new feature, especially if you're a customer listening to this, uh, it is really easy to get started with this. So if I click uh, draft with Einstein, it's immediately going to pop up. I'm going to have two different sections here. On the left-hand side, we have the promotion preview, which is going to be the result of what we prompt. On the right-hand side, we have Einstein, and it's gonna ask us for the, uh, some context here. The first thing it's gonna ask us for is a store. So in this instance, I have three different stores. So it's gonna ask you for, you know, what store are we uh, actually creating the promotion against? Um, and then it gives you a little bit of context of how to actually create the promotion. So adding a product name, category name, or the keyword with quotes around it, uh, which we'll do a little bit in our um, prompt here in a moment. And then as I mentioned, there's this example uh, section here, which is kind of cool, right? You can say, I wanna get 10% off uh, on product in my villa. And if I just click this, it goes straight into my prompt and it shows uh, the ability to actually have that prompt uh, go out. So that's kind of nice. Uh, as I mentioned, they're, they're very static right now. Um, so. There isn't going to be a bunch of dynamic things in the first version, but um, potentially more to come. And then this bottom section is really a freeform text box. I can put whatever I want in here, and the more specific and, and accurate I am, uh, the more Einstein is going to uh, give me accuracy on the preview from what I've seen. Uh, it also sometimes helps if you uh, put it in and then maybe you make some modifications and you hit it again uh, to get the, the more accurate responses uh, or results. Uh, so that's really um, the overview of this. Not too complicated, but if I scroll to the left-hand side, uh, you can see that we have uh, the details section, we have the display section, we have discounts, qualifiers, advanced, and schedule. So all of this is blank right now because I haven't actually uh, drafted a prompt. Uh, but once I do that, it will actually uh, drop right into the left-hand side. So let's take our first one over here. We're going to get rid of this. And our first one's actually really straightforward. And this is actually a use case I did in that a previous video I linked to. Uh, it's the 10% uh, off orders over uh, 500. And when I did this in the video, it was relatively straightforward because I knew exactly how I wanted to set it up and I'd already done it and there were no issues, right, as we were walking through that. Um, but if you're doing this for the first time or maybe it's a little bit more complicated than this and you need to kind of figure it out as you go, it might take you more time. Um, but let's go ahead and click draft prompt here and it's gonna go out and Einstein is going to uh, determine what I'm trying to do here when it comes to promotions. So on the left-hand side, it looks like it, it filled in. Uh, we've got our store populated here. We've got the name, which is just promotion in this instance. Uh, and it, what I've seen is it tries to determine the best name based off of the prompt you've given it. So mine's very, very uh, ununique <laughs> right now, or or uh, you know, not, not very uh, creative, and so it's just given us a, a bland name it looks like right now, but I, I think that will change as we get a little more detail in our prompt. Um, but then we can go down and we can see, okay, I've given us some display names down here, and then uh, we actually have the discounts, and it looks like it did get this right. It got a transaction target type of a percentage discount of 10% in USD, and there's no minimums or quantity uh, limits because we haven't noted any of that. And then from a qualifier standpoint, we wanted it to be uh, at least $500. Uh, so we have a minimum of $500 at a transaction level, and it's got the USD on down here. And this one's pretty straightforward. So it's starting on uh, yesterday, looks like 6 p.m., no end date in sight. And if we go ahead and, and click save here, it'll go ahead and generate this for us and we'll, we'll get a new promotion uh, that will be set up and we can go ahead and, and change. So that is one key thing I, I did actually wanna note if we go back over here to promotions, you'll notice that once you actually do the promotion prompt here, uh, it doesn't have a way to change it on here. And that's actually intended to, to start with. Uh, that may change in the future, but to start with, they wanted to launch something that you could draft a promotion and then once the promotion is created, it's not live yet, it's not active, uh, so you can make modifications to that new promotion before it goes live. Uh, so there isn't a way to like prompt and then make edits over here and then click save uh, quite yet. So let's go to our next one here. So we wanna switch back over to our store. Uh, I will note that it is very easy if you have multiple stores to forget to do this. So make sure you click the right store here. 
And then I'm gonna drop in uh, my prompt here and make this a little bit bigger. Uh, but this one is embrace this BOGO deal by product drop in kitchen sink, which is the product specifically in this B2B store and get a second exactly the same uh, product here at 10% off. Uh, this promotion uh, starts today and ends in a year. So if you think about this, there's quite a bit in here, right? It's giving, it's a BOGO deal, specifically a product level uh, discount here, getting another product free, uh, or sorry, not free, but um, but 10% off, um, and the promotion starts today and ends in a year. So there's some some time frame here stuff. Uh, so let's go ahead and draft promotion and see what it says. So it looks like it gave us a little more uh, specific name, which is nice. And it also took what we said and, uh, and actually made a description out of it. And it kind of figured out that uh, this last line probably isn't something we want to show to the users, which may or may not be the case, but it's cool that it kind of thought about that. Uh, it's filled in the display information here and the terms and conditions. So let's look at the actual details. So it did figure out that it was a product target type and it figured the uh, product out as well. It found the, the drop-in kitchen sink and it figured out that it was a 10% discount, um, which is what we actually wanted to do here. And the qualifier is that we have at least one quantity at a product level in our cart. So yeah, that, that looks to be correct. Let's see if it figured out the time frame. It did, it was yesterday. Well, actually, it's a, it's a day off. So it looks like it started yesterday instead of today, but it did figure out the year um, in the past. And that, that, I'm not sure how much of this is able to be changed or not based on the prompt. Um, so a little bit of adjustment we would have to make on the start and end date afterwards, but it, it got pretty close to that. And the rest of it seems to be uh, spot on. So if I go ahead and click save here uh, and create this, um, we can go in and just look at the discount records and we can see that it is tied to the uh, drop-in kitchen sink, which is uh, what we expected. Um, so cool, yeah, I think, uh, we, so the next step from here is we'd actually go and we'd test this out and we'd see uh, if this is um, actually going to be uh, the right type of promotion, make any adjustments like the start date we need to and then you'd go back over here and mark it as uh, active and, and get ready to actually use it. Now, just to get one more in here before we uh, wrap up, let's go back into our promotions workspace, draft promotion, select our store, and we're gonna drop in this last one I put in that slide earlier. Uh, get an instant $10 off a category building materials, shop now and save more. So some of this is just context for the user, like shop now and save more. This is a category level discount. So again, it's a different type of discount. But let's see what Einstein has to say about this. All right, so it looks like it gave us another generic name here, but it did uh, give us a display name in terms and conditions. Uh, and it looks like it did find that it was a product category of the building material um, target. And it looks like it did figure out that it's a dollar amount fixed off the unit price, which I didn't really specify whether it was a unit price or whether it was a, a cart level. So it kind of made a judgment call. I could probably add some more specifics in here of if it's going to be at a product or at a cart level. Um, but uh, that's something I could come back over here, make a modification with, click uh, draft uh, promotion. And let's actually just give that a shot real quick. If we say we want the discount to be uh, at the cart level. It looks like it did modify that to the transaction level um, and it found the qualifier as a product. So you can see right there, it's it's starting to make adjustments based on what we learned here. And, and this might not be the, the exact thing I'd wanna do uh, in real life because we probably would wanna make this at a, at a product level for the category type of promotions. But you get the idea of being able to kind of iterate on this and, and quickly make changes uh, and, and kind of get promotions out the door faster. All right, thanks for watching this uh, quick video on smart promotions. Hopefully you're as excited as I am on this feature coming out. Uh, if you're interested in getting into, um, getting your hands into smart promotions now, it is in uh, beta, as I mentioned. Uh, so reach out to 
uh, your admin or your account executive or your connection to Salesforce and uh, see if this is an option for you. Uh, but uh, like I mentioned, this, I think there's a ton of value in being able to make promotions faster. It provides a lot more flexibility to the platform and, uh, and enables business users more so. Uh, so thanks for watching and uh, tune in next time.